sometimes you have symbols that are very much alike and um, instead of having three symbols that more or less look the same you might use a small trick and that trick is called symbols to states um, in the pick menu I have one of those symbols and uh, if I just take it up here you can see what I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about a symbol that can look in different ways it can either look like here in, in DC or it could be AC or it could be variable and uh, this kind of symbol that can look uh, differently depending on the state that you select could for instance be used for sensor because in that way you could have one symbol with a lot of different sensors in it and uh, that would make it uh, easy for you when you for instance use soft drawings and uh, when you copy because you can you can make the symbol fit exactly to what you need so what I want to show you in this video is how to make a symbol that behaves in this way again go to the symbol menu and um, I want to go into the user uh, library here and then I want to create a new symbol I will go in here and say uh, create new symbol and start right from scratch again I would use my symbol generator I would again select exactly the same small one here and then I would have this called 1,3,5 at the top and 2.4.6 they were here at the bottom so this is my basic symbol that I want to um, create in, in, in states and to do that I have this small button here called states to layers and that means that instead of having layers in my symbol I would have states so click in this one and then my layers are states instead and the rules when I do this with the state is that as state 0 which is the one I have here at the top contains all what is common to all states and that is for instance a position of names and all the other texts it's all my connection points and um, I don't want to say, tell everything now, but what you should know is that you need to place all possible connection points here in layer 0 because I can control the connection points from the database so uh, even if I didn't need the two middle ones I would place them because then I would simply uh, deactivate them when I use the database and you can see more about that in another uh, series but uh, you should just know that all possible connection points should be here in uh, layer or state number one then if I want to make a state I would go in here and take this one and you just show that I deselected this one show only use states because I want to see all possible states to select a state I can either double click I think that's easy uh, or I could click the active one so um, I'll just double click and then I go to state number one I can see here layer or state one is here and if my first state is a um, DC I can go up and select it here from the pick menu place it here and then to give it a title I would go up here and say the title of this state is DC and uh, my um, title of the symbol I can write that up here so this is my state symbol uh, I'll just have to spell correctly and uh, this is this layer title and then I can go to the next layer you can see the title is here go to the next la layer and say this is uh, AC go up here and give it a title you can see the, the symbol title is already here and uh, I can go to the next title here or the next layer here and place one of the other symbols or I could uh, for instance if the, 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 what I want to show is variable text I could go up and insert a data field could for instance be my symbol data that you saw something about in one of the other videos and say I want to have the symbol data here because that would be my third state and uh, I can put it in the middle uh, because maybe it will only say one two three and then the text will be right in the middle and uh, again I would go up here and click this one and I can call it a uh, symbol uh, data uh, and, and place it here 
And uh, in this way, I can create a symbol that can look very differently depending on what I need it for. So go, go up here and say save as, and this will be my state symbol, and I would call it new number 4. Uh, and maybe I would call it state because uh, in that way I can see what kind of symbol this is and go in and close and um, this one I can place it in here I want it to be like like this one and now you can see that it will contain the value of this uh, symbol data field if I want to click this one you can see this will be what it looks like so Symbol design uh, in uh, layers or in states um, a practical thing if you uh, want to n not make that many symbols.